Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 6 of Chinook Valley. I'm um, glad to see you all have uh, come back, and uh, hopefully you guys aren't reeling too hard from uh, the recent update to uh, to Cities uh, city Skylines. Um, most of this footage um, was recorded before uh, the update. Um, so uh, the footage itself uh, was pre-update, so you won't see that many issues with it. Um, Cinematics uh, and of course this audio recording are happening uh, as obvious is evident um, as obviously evident are happening after the uh, after the update so when we do the cinematics you'll probably see um, you know the the traffic spaz that happens uh, and the tree LOD issue um, but I actually just tweeted uh, tweeted to Prez about uh, apparently it's random tree rotation. Uh, after spending like literally an hour of just like enabling disrupting mods, I was like, oh, it can't be this one. Um, just because I'm an idiot, it was totally that one. <laughs> um, uh, I mean, hell, I even I work in IT and I didn't think of, I didn't do follow my own uh, my own advice, you know, disable everything and then turn one on at a time. Um, long story short, it's random tree rotation. In case you don't know by now. Um, <laughs> uh, so you guys will probably notice uh, in the cinematics the map theme is also going to change. Um, I'm playing around. I, I I've liked this map theme, but I don't like it. Uh, as I'm getting into doing the downtown stuff, I, I don't like it. I also hate the concrete texture. It is too bright. Um, in my opinion, it's too bright and white. Um, and I, that's a problem that I've had with it for a while now. Um, I just haven't really taken the time to to really kind of change anything about it. Um, so yeah, so that, that's really um, the main driving factor is I don't like the color of the concrete. I'm also not a huge fan of the gravel texture color. It sucks too because I really love the color of almost there, like the, the grass color. I like the water color. So I'm actually going to be trying um, uh, Markfire's uh, Cedar Valley 4K theme. Um, I don't play in 4K. I don't record in 4K. Um, so I, I, obviously I, I feel like it will definitely it will downscale just fine. Um, hopefully it won't affect the performance too much. Um, you know, or maybe you know, maybe I will change to doing uh, 4K stuff. Who knows? Um, but yeah, as of right now, that's the one I'm going to be trying out, um, just because it, it it has the best color I want, and I really like Strick's uh, concrete texture. I like his gravel texture. I like his I like all of his textures pretty much. Um, so I'd love to get those into Chinook Valley. Um, although for some reason it's not uh, it's not working. I'm trying out the you know changing the theme and. And while I'm getting the color, some of the colors are changing. The the surface painter colors didn't change, uh, so the concrete is still that white color, which I, I'm not a fan of. Um, so maybe maybe you guys can tell me like uh, what's going on with that. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I might figure it out before before I do the cinematics. Um, just depends on uh, you know <laughs> how much it bothers me. Um, so yeah, uh, one of the things uh, that uh, is still broken at the point of rec uh, recording this is time warp. Um, although I did. Uh, subscribe to a mod that has similar functionality the um oh crap uh, i think it's like extended info or something like that um i'm not a huge fan of it 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 doesn't do everything exactly the way that i would like it to um but uh, that's just kind of you know how it how it is um so for right now it's it's what i'm using um you guys will see it in the cinematics probably uh yeah. Well, actually, you probably won't because I do it. Obviously, I do that in cinematic mode, so uh, you probably won't see that, but you'll see that in the next video unless time work gets fixed. Because I mean, I really only want it for the time function. I don't want all those extra things that the the other mod does. Um, I'm already running too many mods, if you if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I, and I want to go ahead and touch on the the next video because uh, I did I recorded this video. Um, well, at the time of recording this audio, I recorded most of this footage last weekend. Um, so a week prior to actually doing the, the video editing. Um, so I'm a little bit ahead, um, but I wanted to get more ahead. Uh, unfortunately, Natural Disasters, the, the update kind of broke me, wanting, broke me the ability for me to get ahead uh, because I wanted to pre-record some stuff since I go out of town this week. Um, I might have some time to get some more pre-recorded uh, footage up for uh, so you guys can have a video next week. Um, if I do, it'll likely be a 100% time lapse with some audio commentary um, uh, of like the CBD or maybe some some detailing work over in Emerson again. Um, I'm not really sure, um, but yeah, this is this time of year is just, just getting difficult to get um, to get some time to sit down and do this. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, you know, it's 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 kind of a, a busy thing to do. <laughs> um, I also want to uh, I want to thank all of the modders. You guys got the mods up to date so so fast. Uh, like, I I unplugged my internet connection um, and was able to load into Chinook Valley uh, the day um, after uh, the update. Um, but having it not updated because I, I, I was quick. Um, but I was actually reading uh, on the Reddit thread and like all that kind of stuff about you know the status. And it um, it seems like you know the the mods are updated so quick that I was like, well, I guess I might as well load it update and just be offline for a couple of days while the, the stragglers get updated. Um, and they were great. I think Time Warp is literally the only mod that I use that hasn't been updated for uh, for 1.6 yet. Um, and you know who knows if he'll actually do it. Um, you know he's got a bunch of mods so. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys to all the modders. If you guys watch, if you guys watch this series, uh, thank you so much. Um, you guys do awesome, awesome work. Um, so yeah, uh, that's um, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to really cover in this uh, opening time lapse. Um, there is a couple more minutes left of this time lapse. Um, and what this is, is is literally this was just me laying down the basic grid for the city. Um, as you guys obviously just saw, uh, reconnecting up the express lane back into the highway so that can start getting used as a as traffic route. Um, and then, um, you know, we're going to jump into a live mode. And uh, we're actually going to do something that uh, I'm really excited about because, you know, uh, Chinook Valley is a, um, it is a junction city. Um, that was kind of what I envisioned it from the very beginning. Uh, and it's actually funny because I, I, I started recording this um before uh, Fresh Popcorn uh, released his um, intermodal yard video, uh, now I feel like I'm copying him a little bit because uh, because we're like, you know I'm, I'm a week behind in doing a video where he just did his rail yard. Um, so hopefully it doesn't seem that way. Uh, it wasn't planned that way. Um, if Fresh, if you do watch, I really enjoyed your video, so thanks for that. Um, so yeah. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to leave you with uh, a little bit uh, of uh, music for the last couple minutes of this time lapse. Uh, we'll jump into live mode, showing you guys what I've done, uh, talking about the, the rail yard. Uh, and then um, we're probably going to finish up with a time lapse of some detailing around that rail yard. Um, and then I think that'll be it. This is probably going to be one of my shorter videos. Um, uh, and we'll see how the cinematics come. I haven't got those yet. Uh, so hopefully we don't have any graphical, graphical glitches while I try to record cinematics uh, for the end of the video. Um, so obviously I would love to give you guys some stuff to show. Um, Alright guys, enjoy and I will see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, welcome back to live mode. Um, we're looking here at a little bit of work that I've done off camera. Um, I just wanted to bring all the, the, the rail lines um, and get them into the area and out of the area pretty quickly. 
uh, without doing like another time lapse, um, just so I can be, be ready for this. Um, so you'll notice I've done some things uh, since the end of that time lapse. Um, I have uh, brought in the rail lines. I did an intersection up here, which I actually am really happy with. You guys probably saw me fiddling with this for like 20 or well, I guess in regular time it was like 20 minutes. In the time lapse, it probably was was no time at all. Um, but I fiddled with this and finally I came up with a, a way that I think it works out pretty nicely, um, just by splitting the roads. Um, that looks really good. Um, I think I'm going to rejigger this area um, because I need a passenger train station. So we might rejigger this a little bit. Um, what I've also done here is I've laid down that rail line in the middle here of the um, freeway, like I was talking about. And the reason I've done that is tunnels under the intersection here and come back out over here. This will lead to our airport area. So this is going to be our Airport Express, as it were. Um, it'll also be a passenger line serving this area of the map, um, which I think will work out nicely. Um, we have this passenger line that will bring into the city. I'm really not sure where. It depends on where I put the train station. It's really going to matter where I bring this in. Um, the train station, I'm thinking over here. But then we wouldn't have a downtown station. But you know what? We'll save that for a little bit later. Um, right now, I want to show off what I've done over here. So now we've reconnected our express lanes. Um, and what I've done here on this express lane is to make the merging a bit better. Since this is a two lane, I didn't want to just take it right and only having one lane to go into. It splits here at a, you know, at a, you know, and, and you have the ability to get off the express lane and get uh, into the edge of the city. So technically, you know, you have one, two exits off of the express line. You have the downtown, and you have the last exit for this for Chinook before you go into the suburbs. And then over here, what we've done is we brought the frontage road off of our co our little river road here. Uh, we have a quick um, intersection with uh, the freeway before it comes over. And you you might have noticed I did all those slip roads, which I think looks really good. I need to put the keys down again. Uh, I keep forgetting to do that, but I've done it over here. And I'm actually kind of excited with this about this, and and I'm also slightly worried because um, I've created a traffic nightmare um, but realistically this this is a pretty realistic way this would work um, so I'm not super scared um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes um, you'll see there were only three routes across the freeway um, so yeah um, the decent thing though is is that I'm not going to do any residential over here, so it'll just be freight coming from this area into the main city. So the traffic might not be terrible, um, but you know, we'll kind of, we'll hit that. Um, we'll see. We have three main thoroughfares, um, and I can even up the lanes on them. Right now there's four lanes, so we can even up the lanes and maybe give a little bit more access. I'm hopeful that that won't be terrible, but we'll see what happens. Um, there is a, obviously I can... Right now, well, there are three crossways to the highway um, here. There are technically three entrances to this side of town and three to this side of town. So realistically, this interchange will be used heavily for this part. This one will be used heavily for this part, likely. These two will be seen like for both and definitely servicing this side. Um, we also have, you know, there's another interchange here. But it does lead to this road, so yeah, we'll see. I don't expect the population to be so crazy for this area, so so yeah. Um, and what I'm thinking here, as you guys would have saw, um, is this is probably going to be the extent of our CBD kind of downtown area. Um, it's kind of it's the meeting point of you know the the areas. Uh, we have the one ways in there to, to create traffic flow. This will likely be some kind of waterfront park, I'm thinking. Um, river park, maybe river walk, kind of all around this, maybe like a green belt. I think that'd be really cool. Um, and then I'm thinking uh, medium density residential here. Um, I'm thinking a couple office or shopping centers on this, like the back up that their backs face the, face the frontage road, so the access would be on this side. Like I said, I'm not sure about what to do here. It, it you know, we'll see. Um, it really kind of depends. Um, and then up in this area will probably be more medium density residential. And I'm thinking if I can make it more. <sighs> I'm trying to figure out what to do here. We have um, bridge there, bridge there. 
it makes sense to do a bridge here because we need access to this area. So, and it also makes sense to have a local road coming from the city into this peninsula, which will be suburbs, and then into our um, university town. The only problem is that I didn't really leave myself any space to kind of do a connection like that unless we do a road off of that that follows the train line. That actually might work. Um, maybe we'll bring this four lane road. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do that right now. Um, the whole point of this uh, episode is to do infrastructure, and I feel like we haven't done very many live builds. Um, we haven't done any live builds yet in this, so let's just go ahead and, and play with this and see what we can do. Um, Alright, so this is a pretty decent bank here to get a connection off of. And what I like to do, and this is just a trick of mine, is I will... Since you can see how high the road is going to be in elevated mode, I will build it in elevated mode like that first. And then we'll cross the river, obviously in elevated mode. And then what we'll do is we'll come back in that curve, I'll redo into ground mode. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have a weird elevation change or something like that. So, um, that's pretty straight. Alright, and so now what we'll do is we will do back to ground mode. Like that. And then what we'll do here is we will have our coastal road connect like this. Perfect. I think that looks really nice. That gives us a really good connection over here. And I, I wanted it to be a skinny road. Um, so what we'll do here is we'll go back to ground road, a ground mode, sorry. And um, we will just follow the contour of our rail line. So we'll bring that down to ground level. And then we'll just follow our rail line like that. And perfect. Actually, no, no, I don't like that. And this is again one of the reasons why I should have listened to my, what I always do, but I, I didn't. I didn't. I just told you guys what I do. Um, I should have done that in, in elevated mode so we could see how high it would sit bringing it in here. And you can see it's not where we want it to be. So. Now we can come back and put it back in ground mode, and I want it to. I want to be able to do an overpass over this uh, train tracks, which is exactly what we're going to be able to get now. So now we will do a just real quick. We'll bring a ninety degree there. Oops, and we'll come at it. Perfect. Back to ground, and then elevated across. Hmm, it's not gonna. Oh man, my camera's been doing that lately. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is not gonna play very nice, is it? Perfect. That's yeah. That's great. And then, hmm, let's put let's put a little node so we can go back into ground mode. Change that to ground. Perfect. We can delete that now. And let's hmm. Yeah. I'm, maybe it makes sense to bring it off of this. Um. That'd be a mega intersection, but I think it makes sense. So let's and how bad is that gonna look? You know, they were not happy about that road being put there. Um, <laughs> all right, that messed up our power lines. So let's just fix those real quick. Alright, see this is one of the problems. Oh man, I think I deleted the wrong one. Well, that sucks. Alright, so let's bring it back real quick. We can fix this. And then, Sorry guys, I know I think I, I did enough of this in the first episode for, for, for you guys to watch. <laughs> but you probably don't want to watch it anymore. Um, 
I don't like how tedious they are to place these, but I love the way they look, so I just kind of suck it up. <laughs> really, that's kind of the best way I can put it. Uh, okay, so we have that. And if we cross the road... gets this better yeah okay so now we have that intersection that looks good we have a local road crossing that peninsula going into the city obviously the express route is faster but you know that way is it looks the way it's supposed to all right so really the only question now is where do we bring that train line for passengers um, and I'm really not sure yet. Um, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, I feel like. But I do, you know what? Let's bring it in here, maybe? No, cause then that airport line would be really difficult to get. I'm really not sure about this. Um, I'm probably going to have to take a step back from that and come back to it because it's driving me crazy. Also, I want to clean this up. Um, I want to do a little bit of smoothing here just so it looks like it's better. Um, there we go. I think that's probably about as good as we're going to get that over there. Yeah. Yeah, I really like the idea of a green belt waterfront. And I think having the train station here would, would make sense. So, you know what? I might be making myself another traffic nightmare, but I really like the idea of it coming in this way. Now, the difficult part is since the express line for the rail, or for the, the line going north, is in this center median here, I'll have to figure out a way to bring the train line in. And I can probably just use move it to move these nodes over, and then just have it do the two train lines right there. I think, I'm not sure how busy that'll look. Um, I might do that off camera just to kind of see what happens, um, but I think that might make the most sense. And I want to keep, I want to make this grid look a little bit cleaner. That's our four lane, right? Yeah, we'll bring our, well, no, we don't want that. We want the four lane to start there. Yeah, I think that looks a little bit cleaner. Um, so I'm thinking something for this. I'm not really sure yet. It might be like a, Maybe a mall. Um, that would actually be pretty cool. So I might just you know delete these. Actually, yeah, I think a mall would look really cool right here. So yeah, that'll be a mall, train station, green belt, um, commercial office, residential, CBD, residential. That might actually come out looking really nice. Um, I need to. I'm that kind of person. I need to do a district to remind myself. Uh, just so I don't forget. Okay, so mall, 
train residential CBD R R Green Bell. Okay. I think that will look really good. Obviously those districts are nothing. And then just kind of you know, kind of mark it off just the way we want. Um, this will be our intermodal. Obviously we know what that is already, but just so I can reference it a little bit. Um, so this is going to be a lot of like, I'll probably do some ploppable Rico warehouses here. Um, so give us some industry and then we'll line, we'll do a little bit of industry. Um, you know, we'll kind of bring a, a road up this way and um, we can probably plop down some industry over here. Um, we might just uh, you know, uh, figure out how to, how to get it over there. Um, but I think some ploppable Ricos in this general vicinity will, will be nice. Um, and I'm thinking what would make sense, I think what might actually look pretty cool is if we do this. So obviously, right now the only entrance for this is over here and over here. And I'm thinking we should bring an intersection off of this main. So how far is that? That is six. So will it look bad if we do a six by six? How steep is that? That is too steep. That's unfortunate. Um, Maybe we can do and this is gonna hit those train. Actually it might not. If I did the skinny bridge pillar, where is that? Slim concrete pillar? Yes, that would totally work. So nine? I think a nine by nine would be smooth enough. Yes, it is. Um, actually, no, it's not. It doesn't look right at all. It's got to be 11. No, it's 9. Hmm. Or why don't we just do it this way? Let's go back to our default. Oops, default pillar. And let's just come down. Let's see, 15 down to 0. And then what we'll do is we will come around. So we have what? 6. There we go. A nice entry. Oh, no, we should use that skinny road there. I hate there's not a bridge version of that, but you know at least it looks good going into the regular sized bridge. Um, so that gives us another entry exit here, um, which I think we definitely needed. And then we should probably do. How, that's definitely low enough. We can do a bridge over if we bring one here. So what are we? Um, We'll do. We'll bring. Just for now, we'll do that so we can bring the road over. All right, and then bring it back up. Do a bit of smoothing. So we can go this way, and what we'll do is we'll just come around in a circle, bringing it up. 7 by 7, go up by 5, 7 by 7, just like that, and then we will connect it. Perfect. So now we have an entrance there that works great, and then what we'll do is we'll build a bridge over just by creating a node and a node. And actually, you know what that node is? I should bring it just a tad bit further. That's great. Delete that. 
and we'll go with obviously a bridge and I think that will look really nice yeah um, perfect and you know maybe we can if we smooth it out a little bit bigger get that smooth texture in there I think that always makes it just look a little bit better and then um, I wonder how big I think I don't think that's tall enough for the um, the overpasses but you know what, let's just see if they fit um, we can use move it to bring it up if it's not too bad let's have a look let's see so the downside about prop snapping is it really really wants to snap you know that actually might work Let's try it. No, let's just use move it to get it perfect. Let's just get it roughly where we want it. That's it. Prop snapping minute really makes that tough, but that is the benefit of move it is now I can come back and line it up the way we want. So now we're going to do that. We're going to move it. Just, I think, right there is pretty good. And then four up. Perfect. Mm. The only thing that sucks now is that it's, uh, that ground has moved a bit. So can we push it back some? We we'll use our directional arrows. No, that's not going to work. Let's bring it all the way back down and kill it. We'll just let it be just like that. I think that'll be fine. Um, I'm, I don't think that's high enough though. It's the only thing. So let, let's do bring it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll have to bring it up another five, I think. And if we bring this node down. I think now, yeah, I think that's perfect. Um, we'll see once we get. You know what? I can actually put a truck under there. Why am I freaking out? And I can just throw a truck right under. Oh yeah, it's more than far enough. Perfect. All right. Um, I think that. So there we have an entrance there, an entrance there, uh, and an entrance here, and an entrance here. So now we have decent traffic coverage for this. Um, I do real quick though want to make a cross or ability, the ability to have a cross over here. So um, let's see. Perfect. Um, yeah. Is a bridge. Is that going to fit the train though? Um, let's see if we can get a box car and see if that fits. It's really steep, but I don't think it's so steep. Um, oh, wait, no, wait. That's actually pretty decent. Um, I'll have to wait till we get a train in here, but I think that's high enough. I might, I might even be able to bring it down a little bit, um, which, which would work out. Um, so now we have a bridge over here, we have on off over here. Um, we have on off over here. We have two cargo stations. I think that's good. Um, yeah, and so now what we can do is around these bridges and stuff, we can build our um, the, our like loading facilities. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll pop into another time lapse. I know this is going to be a time lapse heavy. I'm sorry about it, guys, but I'm trying to pre-record this stuff before I go out. Um, 
go out of town, so we'll we'll just do that. So um, I'm gonna pop into a time lapse. Um, we're gonna lay down a couple Rico buildings, and then the um, you know like the holding uh, the holding like the single tracks that go both ways, just to like so we can put some props there, so um, it looks good. And then uh, obviously we have um, we have some stuff up here. Um, yeah, so I will be uh, with you momentarily for some commentary. All right, guys. Hopefully, you have been enjoying uh, some nice acoustic guitar up until now. I'm going to add in my voice uh, over top for a second here, um, while we talk about um, kind of what uh, what's been going on in uh, in this time lapse, and kind of give you guys an idea of where I'm getting some inspiration from and where I'm going uh, going with this. Um, so you, you notice I'm placing some some Rico uh, props around. I'm also doing uh, just some kind of like dead end single tracks. Um, which I'm in love with. They look so good. Uh, and then I'm going to like concrete in this pretty much entire area, which kind of, I like the way it looks. I just wish the concrete texture was different, which again is why I'm trying to change it. So hopefully I can get that figured out. Uh, and once I do, I'll show you guys what I come with, come up with over here. Um, there's a couple changes I've made uh, since doing this, like uh, that, um, that second cargo station that's over there that's kind of above the rest of the sunken area. I, I'm, I brought that down. Uh, into the actual sunken area, it made more sense that it, it was oddly placed, just kind of up there. Um, and uh, obviously, uh, you'll know I'll add, I have added in a couple things. You'll see soon. We start detailing with some awesome boxcar props and um, hoppers and the coal trains and the, the you know that kind of stuff um, from uh, Biskaigelhausen's amazing. AFT collection. I'm I'm so in love with them, uh, and like I love how we have this little locomotive parking that just looks so freaking good. Um, it's it's so so nice. Um, so we're gonna detail in here. Um, I changed it around a, a little bit. Um, one of the main differences you'll see um, uh, different from from my uh, intermodal yard than from um, like someone like Fresh Pop Porn is I didn't do kind of a one big transfer area. Uh, I designed this off of looking kind of around the CSX yard in Atlanta, um, and I saw like different companies had different sections of the yard, uh, which is pretty cool. So like it'll peel off, and like that company will kind of have that section. So my thought is like maybe like um, 
Gramercy Southern, one of uh, Skagelhausen's uh, train sections, has one of those little uh, areas. Uh, you'll see I have some Cedar Valley Northern uh, assets, so those will also have their own area. And then I see some like warehouses where, like you know, maybe uh, maybe the Cooper, uh, maybe the Cooper paper plant has a uh, a warehouse here as well to do like uh, you know um, transfers uh, into different different sections. Um, I also snuck in a couple Arrowhead Western cars because uh, I'm in love with it. the Arrowhead Junction series. It looks so awesome. Um, being another Junction City, it makes sense that it would pass some of its stuff would pass through my Junction City. Um, so that's kind of what I, I did there. Um, and you'll see I'm also using a, a, just a bunch of like um, industrial assets just to kind of make it look good. Um, I'm going with a different theme in my Intermodal Yard. I didn't go with it looking kind of run down. Um, I went with it looking like it was relatively well kept. Um, and th the reason for that is um, I want Chinook uh, to be uh, surrounded by this rail and like that is their industry and they need it to work because without this rail yard this city would fail so my thought is like maybe they throw a bunch of money at it because it's so many jobs for the city it is like it is the industry of the city and so they keep it well maintained they don't let it overgrow um it's it, they they've invested in it um and that's why businesses use chinook is because it's a nice facility that's that's what it is in my head it's a slightly smaller facility for an yard although i think it scales well with uh with chinook valley um so that's kind of the way I did it there. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys continue with the music and uh, and the time lapse and um, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the rest of it. And um, I'll see you with some end commentary for the cinematics. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you missed an episode of Chinook Valley, uh, make sure to check out the playlist that'll be in the card on your screen. Every new episode I make is going to be added to that. And the best way for you to get in touch with me, or to follow me for updates on um, what's going on in Chinook Valley, is to follow me on Twitter, cogwheel underscore yt. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.